It's about darn time. Boom! I'm super pumped that Super Mario Maker 2 is finally seeing a substantial update. I'm sorry that I was out of town when the update info dropped. Unfortunately, we didn't get to talk about it right at the start. So today I want to talk about this DLC and then other first-party Nintendo games that have been neglected. Four big ones that I think really deserve DLC. And if Mario Maker 2 is going to get a substantial update that makes people turn that frown upside down and have hope for this game building into something bigger and better, then I have hope for these other four first-party games. Let me know in the comments down below which first-party Nintendo Switch game you want to get DLC the most. Which game is it? So Mario Maker 2 is getting a bunch of stuff. It's getting new items, it's getting pokey, it's getting spike, it's getting ninja speedrun challenges, it's getting frozen coins, and most importantly, it's getting Link. Now this to me is by far the coolest thing, and it's something that I hoped we would have seen back in Mario Maker 1. There you had so many different amiibo skins and alternate costumes that were very cute and very clever, but they weren't very crafty. You couldn't really do anything that different. But here Link comes in with his bomb, his bow, his sword, his shield. And now all of a sudden, we look at Link's Awakening with that really half-baked dungeon creator. And we say, okay, now we've got a Legend of Zelda maker. Or at least as close as we're going to get probably for a while, if not forever. I love this. I don't think we get that many updates of this caliber. And it's probably going to stay within that original Mario Bros. style, but man, imagine if they could add Samus and do things with her Morph Ball and with her Arm Cannon. Now you could develop all sorts of different types of levels that have far more variety than even the types we currently see being created. I think this is fantastic. December 5th, it drops. It's free. It's awesome. You know what games need a free drop? Mario Maker 2 came out in June, so this is about six months later, which honestly... It's a long time, but it's not that long. Frankly, I thought we'd see that missing game mode. You know how in Mario Maker 2 there is a slot next to 3D World where we expect some original game mode to get in there? A, a different different style of Mario? They still haven't filled it. Will they ever fill it? <laughs> how ironic would it be if that blank space was literally just a blank space? I always thought it was hinting at a new style, but alas, we'll talk about that some other time. Right now, what games need an update like this? Better late than never is what they say. And the first one is the obvious one. Actually, maybe there's two obvious ones. There's a lot of games that people have been clamoring for DLC for, but let's start it off with Super Freaking Mario Party. Super Mario Party came out last year and still has no DLC, despite being a bare bones, but still honestly kind of solid Mario Party experience. I pulled this data from a September 30th, 2019 Nintendo financial report. But Super Mario Party, guys and girls, has sold 7.59 million copies, and that's going to push to 8 and 9 and eventually probably 10. 7.59 million copies, and they don't find DLC worth it? Obviously, I'd love for there to be true online multiplayer, but let's be honest, they are not going to give it to us. So honestly, I would take a new map. I would take a new board. There are four boards. I want to go back and play Super Mario Party, but every time I get ready to play, I'm like, I don't like any of the boards. They're all small, they're all basic, and I've played them all too many times. And there's really only three because <sighs> Kamek's Tantalizing Tower kind of stinks. I do not like that board at all. I resort to playing Mega Fruit Paradise and Womp's Domino Ruins over and over, and while they are okay, they are not classic, they are not that creative, and dude, could we use another one? A free board would go a long way to supporting a game that has been supported 7.59 million times by fans. It's only fair, it's only right. I don't know if we ever get it given that it's been over a year since the launch of Super Mario Party and the, the betting man in me says that Nintendo is saving whatever other boards they've crafted or could craft for a Super Mario Party 2, maybe even in 2020. Maybe they're gonna start making this thing really regular again? I don't know. If that's the case, I mean, I'll take more Mario Party, but free DLC would be so much more enjoyable than another $60 package. I wouldn't put it past them to eventually come out with something. They're, they're, they, they have weird considerations like that, but at the same time, I'm not holding my breath. The second game is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Now this bad boy has zero excuses for no DLC. 19.01 million copies, the number one Nintendo Switch first party title 
of all time. I think Smash Brothers will pass it probably eventually, but not as of yet. This thing is about to cross 20 million copies sold, and that's not including the Wii U version. 20 million copies of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and they won't give us DLC? Now, it's a bit of an odd case because Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is a port from the Wii U, but no matter, they still could add DLC. They had DLC in the original offering, and it's fantastic. The Deluxe version couples that all together, which is cool and all, but dude, a new cop, a new character, even give me a new vehicle. Do a promo with a car company and give me a new vehicle, a new reason to go back and play the game. A cop is obviously my preference. More courses. But even a character would be great. They added in Link add somebody else in. It's a shame that ARMS is an awesome idea and a cool new IP. It didn't take off as well as Splatoon, but dude, did it deserve some representation in Smash or Mario Kart, and it kind of got neither. Kind of got neither. Like, assist trophies, whatever. I really thought we'd get a full-on character from ARMS in Smash Bros, and I'm, I'm fr crossing my fingers with the fact that Sakurai says they're making more characters beyond the fighters, Pat. But... I think it's also a perfect fit for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Similar to Mario Party, maybe they're in development on a sequel. Mario Kart 9, when's that game coming? I, I truly believe we'll get Mario Kart 9 this generation before the Switch says sayonara, because Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, while a launch title, it, it's not a, a Mario Kart from this generation. It is a carryover. So we need a new one. Could the same excuse be, be said for this, that they're saving everything for that? just feel like something, adding something would be cool, adding something would be awesome, and it would reinvigorate an already insanely rabid fan base. 20 million people could play the new freaking vehicle. It's a great promotion if I've ever heard of one. Elon, call Elon Musk. Let's get the freaking Cybertruck in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. That's my new life goal. The third game is Super Mario Odyssey, another no-brainer obvious one. Like, what are they doing? The addition of costumes in Luigi's Balloon World. <sighs> That's not a new freaking Odyssey world. And I honestly thought, with the way things went with Breath of the Wild, that Odyssey would see significant single-player support, and yet it saw none. 15.38 million copies. It's almost right up there with Smash Brothers Ultimate. It sits in the number three spot. 15.38 million copies. Heck, I would pay for DLC in Odyssey. I paid for it in Breath of the Wild. I'd pay for DLC in Odyssey. New worlds, especially if you wanted to go back and dig up some of that nostalgic dust and toss it all over Delfino Island. Toss it all over something from 64. Toss it all over something from Galaxy. Like, come on. There's so many obvious choices here. I feel like that would be easy. Again, though, I will bring up the fact that Mario Odyssey 2 is not out of the realm of possibility. And again, like Galaxy 2, maybe they're saving their quirky creative ideas for a sequel instead of dipping into the game. But then we have Breath of the Wild 2, and they were able to pull off DLC for Breath of the Wild, make that game massive, and get to work on a sequel soon after, so what the freaking heck. Now, in the same way that Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is a carryover, Breath of the Wild is kind of a carryover as well. That game is playable on the Wii U. It also launched simultaneously on the Switch, but it's playable on the Wii U. And it got DLC, different scenario, I know, but it still would make it possible. I'd love to go back to Mario Odyssey, and I'm not someone who's going to go back just to make crazy jumps. I don't have the, the patience or the skill set, probably, but I would go back in an instant for a world, and I know that all of you would as well. Why haven't they done it? Criminal. Criminal. You know how many updates Kirby Star Allies got? And Odyssey, the De 8 Deluxe, and Mario Party get none? I mean, Odyssey got some, but not like true levels. And Party has nothing? Mario Kart 8 Deluxe has nothing? The last game is a personal pick. Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze does deserve DLC. I know, I know, it comes from the Wii U, but they upcharged this one. They put it full price. They made it 60 bucks. And even though it's not anywhere near as high of a seller as any of the other options, the game outsold the Wii U version in Japan within the first two weeks, so this is no slouch. There's very few Switch first-party games that are slouches. Even ARMS, the aforementioned title that was underachieving, it still sold millions. A free level pack would have been awesome for Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, especially as many other indie developers tried to take a bite out of what Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze baked. It would have been awesome to see Nintendo say, hey, 
we can do this too. Now, I guess that one is the least plausible because of who develops these new Donkey Kong games or who developed the, the recent two. Who knows if they'll ever get around to making a third. They're obviously having a lot of problems of their own. They're obviously busy doing their own freaking Metroid adventures that, uh, that aren't seemingly going so well, I guess, given that we're supposedly getting two new Metroid games um, in the next two years and not one of them is Metroid Prime 4. Alas, it still would be cool. Unlikely, probably never happening, but cool. But the other three, my friends, Mario Party, Mario Odyssey, Mario Kart, does Mario not deserve it? Look how much support Tennis Ace has got. That was so cool. Even ARMS got substantial support, and Splatoon 2 was supported to hack and back. Smash Brothers has constant updates. Now Mario Maker 2 has two significant updates, one being far larger than the other, but two nonetheless. And these are so cool. They're such a draw to go back and play the games. It makes it so fun to revisit these, these former mainstays that you drop 60 on, stuck in your Switch, and maybe haven't seen in a while. I don't know why Nintendo won't reward these other titles. They clearly have shown that they're able to support games in a super stellar fashion. <sighs> also, all the games I mentioned, Mario Party, Mario Odyssey, Mario Deluxe, they do take advantage of online in some capacity. <sighs> it's a bummer. It's a shame. But I'm excited for the Mario Maker 2 pack. What game do you think deserves DLC? <laughs> is it one of these? It probably is. Freaking new board in Mario Party. A new character in... Eight Deluxe, a new level in Odyssey. What are they doing? What the heck are they doing? I think the clock is probably tapped out on most of these, but I'm going to keep wishing. Nintendo does weird things. Their lineup for 2020 is barren at best. We got Animal Crossing, Xenoblade, Third Try Edition, and Fire Emblem, uh, Tokyo Mirage, Crossover, Chaos, Port. If you can't come up with some brand new titles, Doug Bowser... At least throw a fireball at some of these older games that deserve DLC. Please. Let me know your take in the comments down below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. I love you all a lot. Until next time. Thanks again for watching. Have a fantastic day. Switch Force, out.